Hello, I'm Dr. Elizabeth Freed and welcome to It's My Honor. I'm a pro bono coach doing coaching for the Honor Foundation and today it's my honor to introduce you to John Rodriguez. John is a Navy SEAL Chief Warrant Officer who has had 33 years experience with the SEALs and will be retiring in December 2018. Is that right, John? Yes, it is. Good morning. Well, welcome. 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 And how are you today? I'm doing well today. Thank you very much. And thank right. you for the opportunity. Oh, it's my pleasure. Always I just love doing this for you guys. So tell me, can you share with me a highlight or two of your career? Yes. Uh, most recently, uh, I was the training officer for a uh, training department that we have here on the West Coast. And I began to start identifying inefficiencies with one of our uh, range department. This is where we go and we shoot and we live in remote locations. Um, and subsequently, as I, uh, I got more into it, I ended up becoming in charge of this range department. So I took a grassroots approach, trying to make it more efficient. I brought in the trainers and began to interject them into all the planning aspects of our future MILCONs, military constructions, and also our future endeavors. This ended up um, optimizing things and also getting it to where now that some of these some of these facilities are built, we they're beginning uh, they're being modeled as the um, uh, the industry standard. So other organizations now are looking at what we've created, what we've built, and they're modeling theirs after ours. So let me see if I understand. You got some plans for these ranges, and they were not designed initially for the group that was going to use them, and that's why you brought in the trainers to help redesign it. Is that right? That is correct. Okay, and what kind of budget did you have for this? We began with over a $100 million budget, and from there we were able to uh, use these funds to build the facilities that we most needed, where within these remote locations, they're going to be more suited now to benefit the people that are gonna be living there and also working there. That's great. So tell me, as you look at your career, how do, do your current skills translate to the civilian workforce? Uh, the, the three most that I could highlight would be program management, logistics, and training. I have an extensive training background um, for, for training men to go to war um, back in the training, de training departments and the training cells. Logistics, as an operations officer, I was responsible for moving large pieces of, e of equipment and personnel, not only through hostile areas, but through very remote areas on a very tight budget. And program management, uh, when looking at the training side of things and also the range side of things, as we discussed previously, um, just on how to look, view everything holistically to ensure it, it's the most efficient. I see. So in December of 2018, when you retire, what kind of culture are you looking for to land in? Um, I'm looking for uh, a place, an organization that uh, will give me the opportunity to show my worth and then uh, they will value what I bring to the table and then give me the flexibility to continue moving forward uh, within the organization. Um, I'm looking for a place that is um, a tight, uh, tight knit organization that will al allow the team to move forward. Okay. So if I had the opportunity to talk to your commanding officer, what would he or she tell me your greatest strengths are? My previous commanding officer, uh, we've been together for a very long time. Uh, he knows me very well at my last counseling. He told me that I am a very dedicated individual, that I have the ability to see the entire picture, um, whether it's a, a department or just a scheme of maneuvers that we're looking to do. And yet I also can see the intricacies of what makes the entire organization move forward, what makes and what could what be a road bump in the way to make sure we don't get there. For my personnel, what he told me was that for the men, uh, men and women that I'm in charge of, uh, I, I mentor and counsel my personnel well. And for my senior personnel, uh, I do not micromanage. I tell them Here's the end state, this is where we need to go. And then I monitor them as they make the decisions to get us to that end state. Well, I wanna thank you for sharing that with me. And I wanna thank you for spending this morning with me, John. 
Once again, it's my honor to introduce you to Navy SEAL Chief Warrant Officer John Rodriguez. Thank you. Thank you.